Is AT&T TV a good option for cord cutters? Well, that depends. It has one of the highest price tags in the streaming space. But if you're looking for a way to watch sports without cable and you can't live without regional sports networks, the answer just might be yes. Yeah, we'll also cover what the various plans are like on AT&T TV, as well as what it's like to watch TV through the streaming service in this AT&T TV review video. Before we get into any specifics, we want to provide a high-level observation. AT&T TV has made a number of changes. From buying DirecTV Now to rebranding as AT&T TV Now to this latest iteration, it seems like they either don't understand the streaming space or worse, it seems like they're clinging to a cable mindset. That feels especially true when you look at the pricing of their four packages. This cable mindset holds AT&T back from being a true contender in the crowded streaming space. With that, let's dive into the plans and price tags that accompany an AT&T TV subscription. There are four packages, Entertainment, Choice, Ultimate, and Premiere. And we have to say right up front that the way AT&T TV channels are organized reminds us a lot of cable. At $69.99 a month, the entertainment package is the cheapest, but it's the most expensive option in the streaming space. AT&T says you'll get 65 plus channels along with 40,000 on-demand titles and a 20 hour cloud DVR. This is honestly not great. By comparison, YouTube TV is $64.99 a month, offers around 90 channels and unlimited cloud DVR storage. Fubo TV costs the same price, offers over 100 channels and 250 hours of cloud DVR storage. So the AT&T TV price or DVR is not competitive here. Now the choice package costs $84.99 a month, which is pricey, but it does offer regional sports networks. It's actually the only streaming option that offers them. So let's talk a little more about that. As you can see, the AT&T TV channel lineup for the choice package includes all your local channels, along with popular channels and news like CNN, Sports, like all the ESPN channels and NBA TV, Family, like the Disney Networks, Drama, and more. And it offers the regional sports networks available in your area. You can see which ones by going to AT&T TV's site and entering your zip code. When we did that for Omaha, we see that we get our local stations along with Altitude and Bally Sports Midwest. Now, that is not enough for us to pay up for, but maybe it is for you. And if so, you'll like knowing that you'll get one year of HBO Max for free with your choice subscription. If you like HBO Max, this could be worthwhile to you as it is a $15 per month value. However, as is the case with all AT&T TV packages, you only get 20 hours of cloud DVR storage. If you want to record more than that, you'll have to pay $10 a month, which will then give you unlimited storage. With the price as high as it is, we wish they would just throw in unlimited cloud DVR into every plan. Because if you decide that the choice package is right for you and you want more than the included 20 hours, your price goes up to $94.99 a month, which is the price of the third channel package, Ultimate. Yeah, this package comes with more than 130 channels. So what channels are you getting here that you're not in the lower two tiers? Well, some of the more popular networks you'll get include American Heroes Channel, Aspire, BBC World News, BET Her, CBS Sports Network, DIY, Fox Sports 2, FXM, NBC Golf, and the Logo Channel. But again, you're going to pay $95 for that and $10 more if you want an unlimited cloud DVR. You'll also get HBO Max included for a year at no additional cost. Now, the fourth and most expensive package is the Premier Package. It costs a whopping $140 per month, and it includes all the HBO, Showtime, and Stars channels, as well as a few Spanish language ones like Unimas, Universo, and Univision. Now, I think in the spirit of full disclosure, we should tell you that we have not subscribed to AT&T TV. However, we have used AT&T TV Now numerous times, which actually used to be Direct TV Now. And while that service is no longer available to new subscribers, we can say that it has become what is now AT&T TV. So we do have some comparative experience to draw on. Now, let's cover how you watch AT&T TV. The AT&T TV app is available on Roku and Amazon Fire Stick, as well as Chromecast and Apple TV. You can also watch it on your tablet, computer, and smartphone. And it's also on Samsung smart TVs. Additionally, AT&T offers its own streaming device and remote, which you can purchase for an extra $5 per month per device, 
and they will let you have up to six. Yeah, but we wouldn't recommend that option, and here's why. It requires a 24-month contract. They don't call it a contract, but if you cancel, you have to pay the entire device balance. This reminds me of something I hate. Can you guess what that is, Nicole? Hmm, cable? Yeah, that is exactly right. Remember, you're cutting the cord to save money. These plans are pricey. The cheapest option, including regional sports networks, is the only one we'd recommend. And that's only if you absolutely have to have the regional sports networks in your area. If you can live without those regional sports networks, we'd encourage you to consider three other streaming options, the first of which is YouTube TV. At $65 a month, it's cheaper than the entertainment package from AT&T TV and includes more channels and an unlimited DVR. What we like best about the service is its simplicity. There's just one package for one price. It includes all the ESPN and Fox Sports channels as well as CBS Sports and NBC Sports. It also has the Turner Channel Networks, NBA TV, and all your locals. You can add on premium channels like HBO Max, Showtime, and Stars. We've done a full review of YouTube TV, so watch that video now. Another alternative to AT&T TV worth considering is Hulu Live. It carries the same cost as YouTube TV, and $65 a month, you'll get many of the same channels as YouTube TV, including your locals. However, Hulu Live is missing the NFL, MLB, and NBA networks. It also doesn't carry PBS. But it makes up for that somewhat with its incredible collection of on-demand content. Everything in the Hulu on-demand service is available with Hulu Live and then some. Many shows contain full seasons and entire series of popular shows. You'll also get access to all Hulu originals like The Handmaid's Tale. But its DVR option isn't as good as YouTube TV. You only get 50 hours included and the ability to stream on two screens at once instead of three, which is what you get with YouTube TV. If you want to upgrade to 200 hours of cloud DVR storage, you can, but it's going to cost you an extra $10 per month. Like YouTube, you can also add on premium channels, including Cinemax, which YouTube doesn't offer. And if you want Disney Plus and ESPN Plus, you can get both for an extra $8 a month. We've done a review of Hulu Live, so watch that for more details about the streaming service. We also link to a seven-day free trial of the service below, so click that to give Hulu Live a try and see what you think. A final alternative to look at quickly is Fubo TV. Like the other two options, Fubo TV costs $65 a month. It offers over 100 channels, 43 of which are Nielsen Top 50 ranked channels, so you'll get a good selection of sports, news, and entertainment channels. Where Fubo shines is in the sports add-ons it offers. If you love international sports, you can add on a good collection of channels for $7 a month. They also have Spanish language and Italian as well as Portuguese channel add-ons. You also get 250 hours of cloud DVR space, and you can stream on three screens at once. We did a review of Fubo TV as well, so watch that video now to learn all about the service. Fubo TV also offers a free trial, which we link to below, so click on that to try it out. Yeah, whichever of these streaming options look interesting to you, please do use the free trials they offer to test them out and see which one you like best. Okay, that does it for this review. Let us know what you think of AT&T TV in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you can be notified of our new content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.